Welcome. I'm afraid I have some very bad news for the Grand Solar Minimum cult. Solar Cycle 24 is alive and well, and we aren't anywhere near Solar Minimum as yet. So what is the problem? The problem is sunspots, and far too many of them. We shouldn't be getting this many sunspots if we're anywhere close to Solar Minimum. And a new set of sunspots uh, emerged this last week in Active Region 2733. Here's a plot of the sunspot number over the last 13 years. And at the moment we are here. Fairly close to solar minimum, but not there yet. This is a picture of the new region, active region 2733. And as you can see, there's quite a large number of spots there, including a large leading spot. The sunspot number is officially up to 30 at the moment, but I can see at least 45 spots, so I suspect that number will increase. The region just produced a sea flare, which is the largest flare for quite some time. And that would make more sea flares quite likely. Well, active region 2733 is definitely an old cycle region. How can we tell? Uh, the negative polarity, that's the black polarity here, is leading. And the positive po polarity is following. That's the signature of a solar cycle 24 region in the northern hemisphere. So solar cycle 24 is still producing large and strong spot groups. That is not a characteristic of solar minimum. Well, let's take a look at the movie of the flare. This is the region shown in the 131 angstrom band of the AIA instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Here comes the flare. Very pretty. Uh, and that flare was a long duration event. It lasted a couple of hours, so therefore may well be associated with a coronal mass ejection. Now that's in the part of the sun that could eventually affect the Earth. So we may be looking out for some aurora in a few days time. So why is all of this such bad news for the Grand Solar Minimum crowd? Well, first of all, it means that Solar Cycle 24 is still alive and well. We haven't yet reached the solar minimum between solar cycles 24 and 25. That will not likely occur until much later this year or even next year. So all the extreme weather that they've been attributing to the effect of the grand solar minimum can't be associated with it because the grand solar minimum hasn't started yet. In fact, the solar minimum hasn't started yet. I hate to kick somebody when they're down, yet we have more bad news. There's already signs of solar cycle 25. The three ringed areas here are reverse polarity sunspot regions. And so consequently, uh, that means that solar cycle 25 is beginning to appear. Now that's very early. It could indicate that solar cycle 25 will be larger than solar cycle 24, which is the exact reverse of what the grand solar minimum people have been predicting. So let's see if we can draw this together into some sort of conclusion. First of all, Solar Cycle 24 is still active, so we're not at solar minimum yet. So none of the odd weather that we have been having can be attributed to the onset of a grand solar minimum or even the onset of solar minimum itself, because neither have happened yet. We're also seeing the first signs of Solar Cycle 25, which is unusually early and means that a grand solar minimum is very much less likely. So if you hear somebody spouting on about a grand solar minimum, just tell them that they're full of nonsense and post a link to this video. Until next time, goodbye.